I'm going to show you how do you change the template for the order printer app. So this is a free app that you can install into your store by going to the Shopify app store. But if we take a look at it, let's go ahead and click on order printer. So if you go down to apps on the left hand side order printer, you'll notice, let's just click on my latest order that although I have a quantity of four, I have this flannel shirt, but this price right here is showing me the price of a single flannel shirt. So not all of them, just a single one. So you'll see that we have a subtotal price right before taxes. How do we get that subtotal price to show up on a per line item basis? So to do that, what you'll have to do is you'll have to go into, let's just click on our back button here, click on manage templates. And I'm going to, this is the, the invoice template. So I'm going to click on this invoice template. You'll see that there's a lot of code right here. Now don't be alarmed. It's pretty simple. If you scroll down, you'll see that we have a little body right here or a table right here starting on line 17. The price is right here, what's showing you the price. Now this line item dot price, right here, this piece of this code, that's what's showing us the single price or the single item price. What you'll want to do is you'll want to change that. Now, how do you know what to change it to? If you click on this view liquid variable list, this will show us a number of things that we have access to. You'll see that we have shipping price, money, total discounts, but these are all information about your order. And if you keep scrolling down here, there should be a line item details. And this is what we, what we want. So if you click on line item details or not click on it, but at least scroll down to that section, you should see a line price. This is what we want. We want to do a dot line underscore price. So all you really have to do is right in front of price, just put line underscore price. Click on save. Once it refreshes, you will now see that that one line item shows you the total price of all of those products added together. Basically, it's taking your quantity times the price of, in our case here, the flannel shirt, which is $50, giving you a total of that single line item. And that's how you change the price.